So we're just beginning to test fit all the parts now to get ready for assembly and this is the bridge plate that will hold the tremolo unit and all our tuning. And straight away we can see as we zoom in here we've got uh, four holes uh, to drill and there isn't actually enough wood for where the fourth uh, screw is going to go in. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a piece of scrap wood and just glue it into that section there so that uh, the screw actually has something to bite into to hold it now. But um, I think that kind of sets the standard <laughs> for how this is going to go. There's going to be a lot of little fixes to do and stuff like that to get everything working. And uh, as I said, the next step we're going to be filling in all these holes and transferring them onto this side. There is a bit of a contour carve here. So uh, we're going to repeat that on that side. And I'll just take this out and show you the back. As you can see on the back here we've got quite a large... Uh, control cavity that we don't really need so we're going to be filling that in completely and uh, putting wood over the top here as well and smoothing it down so it completely disappears and we're going to drill another control cavity on this side we've got a belly carve here and uh, so we want to avoid that so we're going to do a much smaller uh, control cavity here and just uh, group the electronics together a little bit easier and um, we probably not going to use uh, all the pickups and um, there's space here for a humbucker and two single coils and uh, we're probably not going to bother with the middle one we might fill that in as well so when we're drilling our new controls on this side we make over for a much simpler uh, true A selector and um, volume and tone so we can keep them a lot closer together and avoid uh, having to try and cut out a big control cavity uh, especially with this carve here on the front and the belly carve on the back we just want something smaller in this area here that should do it so as you can see, as I said here, there isn't enough uh, wood there for a screw to bite into. So we're just going to cut out a small piece of hardwood and uh, glue it in there. So we've just cut out some uh, little wooden plugs there. And we're just going to use these. I'm uh, just going to glue uh, these in place uh, just to fill up the uh, two uh, control holes that were there. And we're going to cut out a sliver of wood to uh, cover this uh, switch cavity as well here. Um, so that will cover the front and then we're going to cut out a much larger block uh, to fill in the back cavity as well. So next up uh, what we're going to do is, uh, I was originally going to put a big block of wood in here to completely seal this. But um, I'm not going to waste time just trying to cut out something that large and all that. So what I'm just going to do is, uh, we can leave this hollow. Uh, be grand because we're going to cut in the hollow on this side so maybe it will help balance and whatever, let's call it a tone chamber or something stupid like that. But uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take our rear uh, control cavity uh, play here and what we're going to do is we've just traced it out here on a very lovely piece of uh, figured spruce that we really shouldn't be wasting on this but there you go. Uh, so we're going to cut that out and uh, this kind of moves a bit in the cavity, it's slightly too small. So we've just traced around it and when we're going to cut it out we're just going to leave a small amount uh, around the edge and we can uh, sand that down to exact size so we can glue that in place and it uh, should be a nice tight fit and we'll fill in uh, any little gaps we have around the edge with some glue and uh, sawdust and that or something just to fill in all the gaps and that should completely uh, seal that cavity front and back and then all we'll have left to do is we'll uh, cut out another piece uh, to fill where was the original uh, output jack and we'll uh, copy all these controls we said on this side when we do our smaller control cavity so I'm just going to, as I said, cut this out and we'll uh, hopefully start to fill this all in. So that's our back plate uh, made. It's uh, quite tight fitting in parts, uh, a little bit loose as well in some other areas. But as I said, we're going to glue that down uh, with sand of flush and then we're going to fill in all these little layers with a mixture of uh, sawdust and super glue. So it should be nice and tough and as I said, with all these uh, plugs and stuff we're doing, this guitar is probably going to get painted a solid colour. I've had some good ideas about that. Or we might put a veneer or something on the front and maybe back as well, we'll see. But that's the back plate and we've all our plugs and stuff made uh, to go in all the other parts so we're just going to glue all them in now and that should be our first part done so that's all our wooden plugs in on the top there as we said we this extra one here to make sure that last screw could go into the bridge plate uh, that's the pickup selector and volume and tone controls and our output jack so we've got them in there we'll leave them to cure overnight 
and what we're going to do now is we're just going to put some glue on the back here and we're going to stick down this uh, new plate that we made and clamp that in place and then we'll come back to the whole thing tomorrow. So using a huge amount of glue here, probably too much, but uh, we're not worrying about it dripping into the cavity or anything because it's going to be sealed. There's just some on there and it's going to go in that way. Some along the edges, so that's our, our plate in place. And as you can tell, you can see where the glue is coming up, where it's not quite as tight a fit as we'd like. So once that's completely dry, we'll come back with a lot of sawdust and stuff like that, and uh, we'll uh, fill in all those gaps. Actually, we won't. We're going to do it right now before the glue dries. So, sawdust. So we'll just use a nice liberal amount of glue around the edges here. As I said, this is going to get sanded uh, completely flush with the body, so there's no real issue here. And we'll just take some sawdust and put it on. And we're just rubbing that around lightly to mix the glue and the sawdust together to create a little kind of a you know like a paste kind of to go in and fill all those areas. And if there is any other uh, bits left over on that, it's uh, no issues. We can come back and we can do this again, as we said, after the glue has dried. see now most of those gaps have been filled with that glue and uh, sawdust mixture so we let that completely cure uh, overnight and we'll come back to it tomorrow and we'll start to cut away all these bits and pieces and we'll start to sand this down and as I said if there is gaps we'll come back to it again so that's where we are so far we've already started covering up all their right-handed holes so once that's all done and dusted then we'll come back and we'll start planning on what we'll do on the left hand side 